Why is it so important to look after the environment? For these monks and nuns, their care and concern for this island environment reflects the fundamental Buddhist belief that everything in the universe is interconnected, that nothing exists completely independently of anything else. Everything is linked by a complex web of conditions. Their compassion for all life on the island springs from this sense of connectedness. Buddhists take this as one of the basic facts about the nature of existence. Known as the principle of conditionality or conditioned co-production, it is a key aspect of what Buddhists believe the Buddha understood at the moment of his enlightenment. It is a fundamental principle from which everything else follows. The unique flora and fauna of Holy Island depend on a myriad of different conditions. The soil, light, moisture and a previous generation of plants were some of the complex of conditions that brought this delicate orchid into being. And it too, in its own way, is part of a network of conditions on which many other things may depend. If one of the elements is missing or is changed, the whole network is affected. Buddhists believe that this law of cause and effect works on all levels of existence. It applies to everything, the physical environment, plants, animals, people, even to our states of mind. Where it applies to people and what they do, it is known as the law of karma. The word karma simply means action. The lighthouse buildings on the southern tip of the island have been converted into a retreat centre for the nuns of Samyaling Monastery. This outbuilding has become the shrine room. For Buddhists, the law of karma is nothing mysterious. It's just how life works. Actions have consequences. They believe that their actions shape who they become and affect other people and the world around them. The key factor in any action is the intention behind it. Actions driven by greed, hatred or confused states of mind are said to be unskillful and will lead to unhappiness. While actions based on compassionate, generous and clear states of mind, on the other hand, are skillful and will have positive consequences. The environmental work here is motivated by compassion. You know, like when you live on an island, you really, you're aware of all the things that you throw away mm. and stuff like that, because you, you just have massive it piled. So we try and use everything, mm. like for all our yoghurt pots and the, and the cardboard boxes, anything that we can utilise to help us kind of live. Excellent. We, we do that. Which is really good, and you can, that's really fertile. Yeah. And the cardboard, the cardboard's totally gone. Is that, so that's had cardboard in it? Yeah, that, had, that was exactly, that started off exactly the same as that one. It feels really warm. The Holy Island project is an ambitious one. Yet for Buddhists, the greatest project that can be undertaken is that of self-transformation. Buddhism says that it's through inner transformation that one can most effectively engage in the task of transforming the world. 